Hi, I uh, haven't recorded for a long time, so I just wanted to take a moment and talk about some of the things that uh, I've been trying to work on um, ever since I became unemployed back in January. So the past few months I've been working on an app and well really I've been working on a company, um, a studio to make video games, not just me. I would like for it to be, you know, multiple people being able to crank out at least triple A. Um, with the, the way things have been in the market recently, uh, I think triple A has not been, not been towing the line. Let's just put it that way. So there's been a lot of, uh, indie projects that I feel have been more enjoyable and provided a better experience than what you can get for $60 plus because you can always go to their store and buy more shit. So these games that are AAA, massive budgets, lots of people working on them, I feel like they're just, they're targeted towards the stores. They just want to make as much money as possible. And it's not really about the product. It's not really about the experience. And that's where the indie comes in. A lot of indie people have been quite successful. Uh, caught my eye with Subnautica. I've played a lot of RimWorld, just to, to name a couple. Um, we could go down the line. There's been a lot of indie games that have been remarkably successful in the past few years. My little sister's been just ranting and raving about Stardew Valley. Uh, and apparently this was a solo developer who did Stardew Valley. So that's kind of my my vision, my perspective about what's been going on in the industry. Um, and this, this started months before, years before, uh, when I was back working at Google, I could, all I was doing was sitting there just going over in my mind, all the things that I wanted to do with game design and software development. Um, cause I have a lot of experience in project management right now. And I've always been kind of in that area when it comes to software development. I've wanted to do that for, for my, my living, right? And it's, it's hard when you go and you get a job somewhere and, and all you're doing for the eight to nine hours that you're there working is thinking about what else you'd rather be doing. It's hard to focus and stay focused on work, right? So... I need to do this. This is what I need to do. Uh, it's my calling, right? Destiny. I've been putting together design documents for years. It's time to put up or shut up. I have, have a little bit of a runway, so I'm trying to make as much use of it as possible. Um, been learning a lot of stuff. You know, I watch tutorials. I go through. I know what I want to code. And I look to see how others are coding things that are similar. And you just go through and you make the code work. You know, once you understand what it is that you're trying to do and how to do it, uh, it doesn't have to be written down for you specifically. If, if you understand the material, you should be able to sit down and write it out. Make it work, tweak it, fix the bugs, right? That's what I've been doing the past few months. Um, I'll take some video. I'll show you guys some video. Uh, of what I have, uh, it's a simple app right now. It's it's just in the the preliminaries, right? We're we're not even really to an alpha yet. Yet, I have a lot of artwork that I want to change and update. Um, but the systems are there. The systems are all there. They're being flushed out still. Some of them. I have research systems that I want to have. Uh, I would like for you to have multiple games running at the same, not the same time, but different save files. So you can save different files. Um, you know, and, and I want to improve on some of the things. I have a store that I would like to put in there so you can buy little things to help you out here and there. Um, yeah. And I'm trying to think what else I've been working on recently. I just got the uh, the end goals set up so that they transition appropriately. We're looking for specific type of energy or amount of energy and we're looking for uh, whether or not your planet is sustainable. You know, if you 
overproduce on your planet to where there's not enough biome to support human beings, well, that's kind of game over at that point. So uh, naturally, if you don't have a biome any longer on your planet, it'll take you to the game over screen. Um, and I, I have the city buildings. They're producing resources like they should. Um, there are some more tweaking that needs to go through, of course. Um, because we're still, we're not even again to alpha, so I need to go through and make sure that all the resources are being calculated correctly and showing up appropriately. There's a tutorial system that I want to put together. Uh, I already have some ideas uh, in terms of how I want it to flow and some of the UI elements that I'll need to put that together. Um, let's see, what else am I doing? On the marketing side, uh, this would be one of the things that I'm trying to do uh, more of, put together the videos. Uh, I have editing programs, I've got screen capture on my computer, so um, I'll take some videos, like I said earlier, of the application. We'll go through some of the things that we have already. Um, there's, there's other changes that I have in my mind that may or may not come about. Um, right now we are working with basically widgets on a lot of the, the panels that we'll be working with. Uh, they could be changed over to scenes instead. Uh, that would require some modification to the code and stuff like that. So, you know, that may or may not come to pass. Um, right now it works. You know, if it works, why fix, or if it's not broken, don't fix it, right? So... We'll play around. Same thing with the save system. Right now it saves your game. So, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it. I may not make the change that I was talking about. We'll see. Um, I don't want to get hung up on those things. I would much prefer to continue with the marketing, put out some videos, let everyone know where I'm at. Um, where my goals are, where I would like to be, um, and just better connect with people so that they know what I'm trying to do. Um, and if they support that, then, you know, give them the appropriate channels and avenues to support me doing that. Um, and I, I definitely look for feedback. So if anybody has any ideas, comments, please drop me uh, a line. Let me know what you have to say. And, you know, please like, subscribe, let people know uh, if it's something that they might be interested in and you think, hey, this might be right up their alley. Uh, let them know what I'm doing, give them a link, show them the video, get them involved. Um, I would have to say with this application, a lot of my inspiration came from a game called uh, Terra Genesis on the mobile. It's... Uh, I would say it's it's kind of simple. It's not too advanced. It's not very flashy with a bunch of graphics, um, but it's it's a lot about resource management, or in this case, terraforming. It would be about uh, what? Yeah, I guess resource management. If you count the amount of oxygen you have on a planet, a resource, which yeah, I totally do. Um, <laughs> it's all resources in uh, in the game design realm. But uh, I don't know what else much to say. Um, I know I'll slice this video up in, in editing and stuff, but uh, I wanted to kind of get some stuff out there and just, you know, jump jump in. Because sometimes you need to just jump without thinking, because sometimes you'll overthink it. I know myself, and I overthink everything. Everything. So, for me, sometimes... You just have to close your eyes and take that leap of faith and just hope that what you put out there is is going to be good, you know? Same thing with your games. You can't put all your eggs in one basket and never release something because it's never good enough. Um, you know, I've watched a lot of videos uh, by Tim, Tim Rustwick, and he... I believe says the same thing, you know, you, you will overthink it and you will get in your way. You will delay, delay, delay. You will make up every excuse in the book. And 
you will accept any excuse in the book from yourself because, you know, that's that's what you do. You can talk yourself into just about anything or out of pretty much anything. You just have to have the will. It comes down to willpower, man. Dedication. You just, you got to get that in your schedule. And, you know, the past couple of weeks, I, I've been really working hard. My son is staying with me for the summer, so... You know, I had him for the entire week. Uh, it was actually two weeks in a row I had him with me uh, in the house, <laughs> in the apartment. And he's just, he's very high energy sometimes. And he is always constantly asking questions and wants to play and do this and do that. And, you know, it's hard to work and be a father and, you know, be a partner and, and wear all the hats that, Somebody who is a solo developer has to wear all the hats. You know, it's hard. You just, you gotta make time. You gotta find the time. Somehow, somewhere. And if you delay, 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 then you're gonna find that you are out of the one resource that you cannot get more of. So, it's important to keep things in focus. And then drive, drive forward each day, just a little bit. Make a little bit of headway each day. And you'll be able to look back and, uh, and, and you'll know that, you know, you achieved something and you'll feel better. You'll feel good about it. You know, it's rough out there, especially for a solo developer, you know, but in this day and age with YouTube, with, you know, uh, itch.io, all these other indie platforms, uh, Reddit, you can go anywhere and you can find a community of people who are doing the same thing you are in the same, you know, relatively the same situation. They may have a team, they may not have a team. Um, but everyone, everyone is going to be going through these different growing pains, especially if, if they're going in, uh, and doing something as scary as taking your runway and devoting all your time to just making a product, making a game, you know, get it out there. All right, we'll see what uh, this looks like in, in and after processing, after editing. But I wanted to thank you guys for tuning in. And again, this is just an update on what's been going on recently. I haven't put a whole lot of content on the channel, uh, but this is what I'm doing. This is where I'm going. So uh, drop me a line again. Let me know if you have any thoughts, ideas. If you just want to express that you're in the same boat, by all, by all means, I'm, I'm here. You can reach out to me. I'm a real person. So thank you. <laughs>